after studying this module you shall be able to understand the meaning of the word product in marketing the challenges companies face in creating a new product development strategy the concept of customer value hierarchy the concept of product life cycle product development and innovation have become the top priority for the very existence of the companies in the present business environment all organizations must evolve or they will perish product development and innovation allow organizations to evolve one of the key points that the product life cycle plc concept tells is that products have a limited life cycle furthermore improved or replacement products and services can only maintain or build sales to some extent in the short run only it is only the new product which can transform the company and the whole market by changing lives therefore business organizations must strive to understand well the product development process and try to create the business offering which matches not only customers need but also their expectations the process of product development involves not only the innovation of the core product but also innovation in areas such as production process support services etc business entities cannot view innovation in the narrow sense of technical development but rather as a management process this requires the right balance of creative technical and managerial skills new product development shapes future of the company however development of new product involves many challenges and its success in the market is always unpredictable it is a complex multi stage process which involves heavy investment of money and human resources it requires senior management to define business domains product categories and precise criteria a company can set the following criteria as guiding principles first the product can be introduced within the time period second the product has a market potential of a particular amount with handsome growth rate third the product can easily provide the minimum required return on sale and investment fourth the product has potential to be technical and market leader successful new products are developed partly by understanding the market and partly by innovating new technology to cater the identified needs energizer batteries and charger are perfect examples of this orientation energizer has developed the batteries for those customers who need such batteries which can last longer in high energy draining products like digital cameras and toys the technological advancement enables the company to make fairly long lasting batteries and to develop such charger which can fully charge the batteries in just 15 minutes next is new product development a business exists to satisfy its customers in a profitable manner all business entities attempt to fulfill this dual objective through their market offerings marketing planning begins with formulating an offering to meet target customers needs and wants with changes in consumer preferences and market conditions a company has to remain alert to respond such changes and capable enough to bring improved or new offerings at regular intervals however increasing global competition and a weak economic growth worldwide have made this task harder in such business environment innovate or die would be the appropriate strategy to stay and succeed in the market new product development is vital to an organization success as no company can successfully sell the same product forever furthermore a company has to develop truly new product to innovate not just imitate successful global companies like apple intel microsoft starbucks amazon remain immune to external shocks due to their ability to make innovation a continuous process in other words these organizations are proactive in their approach next what is a new product 
the term new product can be slightly misleading as there are numerous connotations of newness. It can range from new to the world products that create an entirely new market at one end to minor improvements in existing products at the other. How new a product affects the how it should be marketed. The three major categories of new products are as follows. First, products that are truly innovative. Any new product that satisfies a real need of a market that is not being satisfied at the time it is introduced. Recently, a security device was developed that electronically compares a photo of a visitor's face against its database to assure identification. Second, better replacement of existing products. This category of new product contain those products which are the replacement of existing products but are significantly different from their predecessors in terms of form, function and benefits provided. For example, TVs which can be hung on a wall like a picture have replaced the traditional models. Disposable contact lenses are far better replacements of old contact lenses. Third, imitative products. Such products which are new to a particular company but not to the market. Often a company starts production of products which are new for it but not for the market. The main objective is to capture the part of an existing market with a me too product. Such category also contains annual new versions and models of the existing products. However, whether a product is new or not ultimately depends on how the target market perceives it. If the buyer believes that a particular product is significantly different or better from competitive products in some relevant features, then the only such product is a new product. The commercial success and consumer's responses are indeed the main criteria for developing any offering. Here, perception is reality. Here, branding plays an important role. Next is the new product strategy. To achieve commercial success, every producer should have a clearly stated strategy with respect to developing and evaluating new products. Such strategy will guide every step of the product development process for the desired outcome. A new product strategy is a statement which plan and identify the role of the new product in achieving corporate goals and marketing goals. Such goals might differ. A new product might be designed to protect or increase the market share of the company. It might be developed to build or maintain the reputation of the company as an innovator. A new product can also be developed to meet a specific return on investment. Properly prepared and clearly stated new product strategy makes the whole product development process efficient and effective as all the members involved in the process have a clear idea of what they are attempting to achieve. While designing the new product development strategy and developing new product, organizations must ask to themselves the following questions. First, who is the target market the product aimed at? Second, what benefits will they expect? Third, how will be the new product positioned in the market? Fourth. What differential advantage will the product offer over their competitors? The success of the new product will also depend on how well the company answers the above mentioned questions. Next is alteration of existing product. Sometimes rather than developing a completely new product, taking a fresh look at the existing product might be a safe decision for companies. Improving the established product which is already well known in the market can be less risky, relatively easy and more profitable. For example, the substitution of Natra Sweet for Sacharin in diet sodas increase sales of those drinks. However, it's not necessary that consumers every time admire the alteration in their love products. When Coca-Cola company modified the formula for its leading product and changed its name to New Coke, its sales decreased. Later, the company brought back the old formula and its name. Now we will discuss upon the product development process. Every year companies 
from all over the world spend thousands on developing new products with an expectation that they will rock the world. However, only few of such products actually succeed. Therefore, companies usually take considerable time to get a product ready for the market. For instance, it took more than 20 years for the first photocopier to be launched in the market. Before getting introduced in the market, any new product goes through the following multi-step process. First, idea development. All new products are the outcomes of new ideas. New ideas can come from marketing research, R&D or from outside sources such as management consultants, etc. Modern day companies are focusing more on new idea generation by establishing a separate department and conducive environment for continuous innovation. For example, Microsoft has a separate division, Microsoft Research, where more than 700 full-time employees work in a university-like research atmosphere with one common goal of devising technology for tomorrow. New ideas can also come from customers too. Sometimes customers share their unfulfilled needs, but often the marketer has to respond or anticipate by observing the customer's problem like crack rate. Moreover, new products don't just create successful products, but also create a company. FedEx is the perfect example of this. Second, screening. In this phase, it is important to look at the company's resources and objectives and evaluate its ability to convert the new idea into product and successfully market the same. Experts from different departments of the company usually come together to screen new ideas. The common criteria of screening is to check if the idea is practical and appropriate enough to further work on it. Important aspects to be considered at this stage are consumers' needs and expectations, competition, social trends, political environment, environmental considerations, technological changes. Nowadays, companies are collaborating with customers through the internet to screen ideas. After screening many ideas, Heinz Ketchup introduced squilly spurts to target kids. The bottle has three cool drawing nozzles to keep kids entertained while having food. Furthermore, easy squeeze upside down bottles are used to add convenience. Third, business analysis. It is the basic assessment of a product's compatibility in the marketplace and its potential profitability. Both the market size and competing products are studied at this point. The crucial question is how will the product affect the company's sales, cost and profits. It is very crucial for managers to rightly estimate the selling price and sales volume etc. Fourth, Product Development If the new idea successfully cleared the three above mentioned hurdles, it is developed into a prototype. Such prototype will reveal the intangible attributes it possesses as per the consumer's perception. This stage is usually expensive and few ideas make it to this stage. Various elements of marketing mix must be developed for testing. Copyrights, packaging, labeling, tentative advertisement campaign, etc. are integrated to develop an overall marketing strategy. Some companies are trying to reduce time and cost at this stage by forming an online panel of target consumers and asking them how to formulate the new idea into a product. For instance, Coca-Cola reduced its cost and time by 50% at this level by forming such online group of teenagers and asking them to remake its sport drink Powerade. Fifth, test marketing. It is a trial mini launch of a product in limited areas that are similar to the potential target market. Test marketing allows a company a complete test of its marketing strategy in a natural environment and therefore provides it an opportunity to discover any weaknesses or flaws in the product and eliminate them before the final launch. These days, lots of specialized companies assist companies in test marketing their products. Sixth, commercialization. After getting the favorable responses from the test marketing, 
the newly developed product can be fully introduced in the target market to achieve the commercial success as soon as possible. During commercialization, the company goes to full scale production, promotion and distribution of the product. Next is the new product failure. New products continue to fail at a disturbing rate. One source estimates that more than 90% of all new products fail in within two years. In the Indian context, a study based on a sample of 112 done by Abraham Koshi, new products launched between 1994 and 1995 showed that the success rate of new products with new brand names was about 36%. In table 1, some of the worst product failures after 1950 are shown. Interesting fact is that all the companies of the flop products are giant players and known for their innovation. In table 10, as you can see, is the list of the 10 worst product failure of all time. New products can fail for many reasons. Often, company brings new products in response to the competitor's successful product. But such product can be a flop if it fails to attract consumers or incapable enough to compete with competitors offering. For example, in response to successful Apple products, Microsoft developed Zune, however, it failed due to technical problems and it lacked an easy to use music store. Some additional common causes of new product failure are as follows. First, poor planning. Poor planning comprises issues like developing a product which does not fit a company's core competency strategy. For example, Sony felt that its competency is in entertainment electronic devices and laptop business does not suit to it and therefore it stopped manufacturing Vivo brand name of its laptop. Poor planning also incorporates failure to rightly analyze what type of opportunity exists in the target market and what specific unresolved problems consumers have. Furthermore, a new product can also fail if the company does not perform due diligence in patent and copyright issues. Second, inefficient management. It comprises the organizational culture, support and resources directed for new product development process etc. Many times, the top management develops a love affair with the new project as theme project and ignores the evident chances of failure. Also, companies do not promote entrepreneurial behavior in their employees. Companies that don't provide enough investment capital and quality human resources, the new project also fails sooner or later. Third, poor product concept. Sometimes, Companies just offered a bad product. Frito Lay's Wow is a perfect example of this. Though the product got the initial success, however, later it was found that it was creating gastrointestinal problems. A poor product concept also includes those products which are just me too products with no additional benefits and relevant differences from the products already exist in the market. Such products don't provide consumers a reason to buy. Me Too products can attract some consumers if they provide some financial benefits to the consumers. Poor positioning can also make a good product to fail. A poor positioning is one which associates benefits with a product that are irrelevant or understandable to target consumers. For example, in 1992, PepsiCo launched its caffeine-free Crystal Pepsi to enter in the then emerging new age beverages. It promoted the product as healthy and pure diet drink. Though in the first year it recorded healthy sales of the new product. However, it was mainly due to curiosity. Later, consumers were not convinced with company's health angle and many of them found its state similar to the original Pepsi. Finally, PepsiCo stopped producing Crystal Pepsi. Fourth, poor execution. Poor execution comprises all the areas of the marketing programs. Failure to advertise the new product properly, faulty implementation of the sales plan can make a good product a flop one. Not having enough distribution partners 
also limit the success of the newly launched product. Products that are mispriced or a poor price value relationship in the eyes of consumers will also fail. For example, the initial failure of Duracell alkaline batteries in India was mainly due to consumers' perception that it was overpriced. Otherwise, the batteries were having a long-lasting life. Products which are introduced late either because the market has moved to better technology or similar products already introduced by competitors also fail. However, initial failure is not always the end of the road of an idea. Truly, innovative companies accept failure as an inevitable part of what's needed to be successful as often. Refined ideas evolve from many failed initiatives. For instance, Illy Hilly, a pharmaceutical company, has established a corporate culture that looks at failure as an integral part of the discovery. It encourages an R&D team to look for new uses of the compounds that fail at any stage in a human clinical test. Its drug Stratera, which failed as an antidepressant, became a top seller for attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. Even Google found that a Google answer service for people seeking specialized information flopped. A new product can range from new to the world product at one end to minor improvements in existing product at the other. New product development is the transformation of a market opportunity into a product available for sale. It is the complete process having different stages through which a new product is created and launched in the target market. A good understanding of target consumers needs and wants the market conditions and competitors strategy are main factors for the success of a new product. Though new products are launched in the hope of huge commercial success. However, there is always a high probability of getting even bigger losses. Chances of failure in the new product development process cannot be removed, but through proper planning, coordination and execution, the chances of failure can be minimized. Properly prepared and executed new product strategy makes the whole product development process efficient and effective.